On the 29th of November, 1947, after months of debate, the United Nations voted on the future of Palestine. The vote followed days of intensive lobbying by the Americans and Zionists. The recommendation was that Palestine should be petitioned. The Zionists welcomed the creation of a Jewish state. The Palestinians were aghast. The result remained uncertain until the final voting. You all know how to vote. Those who are in favor will say yes, those who are against will say no. And the abstainers always, they, they know what to say. <coughs> so we will start it now. Afghanistan, no. Argentina, Argentina, abstention. Australia, yes. Clearly, the Palestinian people do not have the right to self-determination because the Palestinian people had expressed themselves against the establishment of two states in Palestine at that time. They wanted the independence and sovereignty of Palestine with its people, Palestinian Arabs and Palestinian Jews at the time. There was no Israel. Ethiopia, abstain. France, yes. The Zionists in the public gallery had expected the French to abstain. That you will not have any interference on the voting, on the debate. I am confident on the way you will behave in a so serious decision taken by this assembly. Because I am decided not to allow anybody to interfere in our decision. Well, I think the partition resolution uh, that was adopted by the General Assembly of the United Nations, in the first place, it was adopted by a General Assembly that was dominated by the same colonial powers, the same colonial powers that had endorsed the Balfour Declaration. You know, the representation of the Third World and the colonized was minimal at that time in the United Nations. And the, the powers, the, Afro the few Afro-Asian powers, about five or six, that were members of the UN, in fact, voted against. South Africa? Yes. Soviet Union? Yes. The United Kingdom? Abstain. The United States? Yes. Uruguay? Yes. Venezuela? Yes. The resolution of the Duck Committee for Palestine was adopted by 33 votes, 13 against, 10 abstentions. I think for most Palestinians, certainly of my generation, and perhaps even the generation that comes after mine, 1947-48 uh, is still the pivotal year in our national existence. It is, after all, the year when, in a concerted way, the West, uh, let's say the outside world, the outside world made its first massive intervention in our affairs with the uh, partition resolution in November of 1947. It's the before and the after year, if you want. Like. The British were leaving Palestine, and the Zionists now had international backing for the creation of a Jewish state. For the Palestinians, the nightmare that had begun half a century earlier looked like becoming a reality.